the Atlantic Ocean, once a theater of uneasy peace, is again troubled. Russia, in a bold maneuver reminiscent of the Cold War, is conducting military exercises in Cuba. This display of force, occurring just 90 miles from the U.S. mainland, has sent ripples of concern across the globe. The specter of the Cuban Missile Crisis, a stark reminder of the devastating potential when superpowers clash, looms large. The world watches with bated breath as Washington and Moscow engage in a high-stakes chess match, each move carrying the weight of potential conflict. The current situation, while tense, differs significantly from the existential threat of the 1960s. Nuclear arsenals, though still formidable, are subject to international treaties and decades of arms control agreements, however the potential for miscalculation and escalation remains. The Kremlin's actions, a calculated challenge to the established world order, are a stark reminder of the fragility of peace in the 21st century. This situation demands a measured response, one that acknowledges the gravity of the situation without resorting to the brinkmanship that characterized the Cold War. Clear lines of communication both between Washington and Moscow and within the international community are paramount. The stakes are too high, the potential consequences too grave to allow miscalculation or misunderstanding to dictate the course of events. Russia's decision to conduct military exercises in Cuba is a multifaceted strategy, driven by a complex interplay of geopolitical ambitions, domestic pressures, and a desire to project power on the global stage. First and foremost, these exercises serve as a pointed reminder to the United States that Russia remains a force to be reckoned with, capable of projecting power far beyond its borders. This demonstration of military capability is particularly significant in the context of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, where Russia has faced staunch opposition from the US and its allies. Furthermore, the Kremlin's actions can be interpreted as an attempt to exploit existing tensions between Cuba and the United States. By strengthening ties with Havana, Moscow aims to undermine US influence in the Caribbean, a region long considered America's backyard. This strategy aligns with Russia's broader goal of challenging the U.S.-led world order and establishing itself as a counterweight to American power. Domestically, these military exercises play well with the Russian populace, bolstering national pride and reinforcing the image of a resurgent Russia standing up to the West. President Putin, facing internal challenges and seeking to maintain his grip on power, benefits from projecting an image of strength and resolve on the international stage. The Cuban exercises, a potent symbol of Russia's defiance, serve to distract from domestic issues and rally support for the Kremlin. The United States is monitoring the situation in Cuba with utmost seriousness. The proximity of these exercises to the U.S. mainland, coupled with the historical baggage of the Cold War, has triggered alarm bells within the Pentagon and intelligence agencies. While acknowledging Russia's right to conduct military exercises, the U.S. has condemned the move as provocative and unhelpful in the current geopolitical climate. Washington's primary concern is the potential for these exercises to escalate into a larger conflict. The risk of miscalculation or accident is heightened when military forces operate in close proximity, particularly in a region with a history of confrontation. The U.S. is also wary of Russia establishing a permanent military presence in Cuba, a move that would significantly alter the balance of power in the region. To mitigate these risks, the U.S. has deployed a range of surveillance assets to monitor the Russian exercises. P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft equipped with advanced sensors and surveillance equipment are conducting regular flights over the Caribbean, closely tracking the movements of Russian warships and aircraft. Satellite imagery provides real-time intelligence on Russian activities, while signals intelligence intercepts communications and provides insights into Russian intentions. The U.S. is also working closely with regional allies to enhance situational awareness and coordinate a response if necessary. The Organization of American States OAS, has been briefed on the situation, and the U.S. is urging its members to condemn Russia's actions. Additionally, the U.S. is increasing its military presence in the region, deploying additional warships and aircraft to the Caribbean as a precautionary measure.